Hello there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create ghoulish ghastly text frames um, that are more legible on a background. <clears throat> If this is your first time visiting and you want to learn best practice techniques to create killer artwork, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So in the example I've got here, I've got a very dark background, uh, sinister as it is, and then I have a text frame which if I drag on here over to the uh, background, it is of course um, completely gone now. Now what I would like to do is I would like to keep the text dark in here, but I want to set the background to that obviously then to make this legible. We can do this, you know, this is fairly straightforward. You can go to the fill menu by default. InDesign will change the background color of your frame, it keeps the text the same color, um, but it isn't particularly that aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't look like we've taken a lot of care with this. So next step then would be if I hover over that text frame, right click on it, and then from here, choose text frame options or command B, control B on a PC. Uh, move this to the side because you can guarantee these panels always pop up in front of the thing you want to edit and then first things first uh, i'm going to set the inset in here in here just to move my text away from the outside edge so as long as the preview checkbox is turned on i'm then going to hold down the shift key and shift and tap up because i, I need to really pull this in from the edge in here from this case you will notice um, if you are eagerly eyed that at the bottom right hand side the, there is a tiny red plus and i have overset text now so if I go to the auto sizing options just to make life a bit easier, go to auto sizing, change it from off to height only, and then pin my text frame to the top edge and it will then um, cease to be overset and it will automatically increase and decrease according to the content that's in there. Uh, with that done, I can click OK. I might choose just to move that up a little bit in there so we can see it nice and clearly. Uh, from here then, I'm going to go up to the window menu, down to effects to open up the effects panel. And then just pull that nearby. And uh, so from here, what you're normally doing inside of InDesign is you're editing the whole object. So um, that's why the object item is highlighted in here. Um, but in my case, I want to just affect the fill of this object. So having targeted just the fill, uh, the text will stay the same. I can go down to effects and then from here choose basic feather. And then if I pull this to the side, and there aren't that many options with feather and to be perfectly honest all I need to do is increase the feather width in there so I can again hold down the shift key and tap up in there and I can get that softer edge look inside of the frame in there like so so 50 points for that one um, in terms of corners diffused sharp or rounded it really is up to you I, do you know what I might go back for diffused it's got a it's got a look that I'm kind of keen on inside of here so with that done I'll click OK. So that's it, folks. That is how you do it. You can take a regular text frame, drop in a background color, and then you can push your text in with inset spacing in there and then create this softer edged look in there, which is perfect for the Halloween and ghostly endeavors. Until next time, folks. Farewell. <laughs> oh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe as well. Oh.